welcome to Easton News. This is Abby Kitchenham. And Jack Ryan. Today is June, Friday, June 30th, 2023. Attention Easton community, please be aware that the Oliver Ames basketball courts and tennis courts at the high school will be closing on July 5th for construction. They will be getting replaced with new tennis and basketball courts and with a brand new pickleball courts. These courts are set to open this fall. The Easton Fire Department has been awarded two grants for its community health and paramedicine program, which will help the program continue to offer existing programs as well as begin new initiatives and outreach. The department received Massachusetts Car Distribution Program Grant and the FEMA Fire Protection and Safety Grant. Both grants will allow the fire department to hand out safety equipment such as car seats, smoke detectors, night lights, and more to assist families in the areas. They will also be able to funding towards important health and safety programs for the community. A group of Southeastern students have recently demonstrated their knowledge and ability to perform real-world tasks in technology. 15 students in the newly created Networking and Cybersecurity Vocational Program have received their Test Out IT Fundamentals Pro Certification. The certification is received after passing an exam which measures the examinee's understanding of foundational concepts and practical application abilities related to computer hardware and software, networking, databases, programming, informational systems, and data security. Test Out Pro Certification exams are recognized as industry-recognized credentials. All 15 students who took the exam passed and received the certification. Congrats to all the students. Would you like to join a group of local distinguished artists and organizations in support of the Easton Chamber of Commerce by donating to the art show and wine tasting benefit to help the chamber to continue its efforts in promoting Easton as an outstanding place to visit, live, and conduct business? The Easton Chamber of Commerce is very excited to welcome back the silent auction event on October 12th from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Oaks A Memorial Hall, located in Easton Shoveltown Cultural District. Collection period is September 4th through September 15th by appointment at the Easton Chamber of Commerce office located at 50 Main Street, Easton. Each donor will receive promotion of their art practice or business on social media. One artist per day will be featured on our social media platform leading up to the benefit a full-page write-up in the event's booklet, which will be distributed to each attendant the night of the benefit. One complimentary ticket to the event. Please reach out to the program director, Lisa, at programdirector at easton.chamber.com for further information. The Easton Shoveltown Cultural District presents the third annual summer concert series at Oaks Ames Memorial Hall. It is a free outdoor concert and they begin at 7 p.m. at Oaks Ames Memorial Hall. Bring your chairs, food and drinks will be available for purchase starting July 12th with the Rose Conservatory with Tommy Raines and guests. Then the other concerts will be July 19th, 26th, August 2nd, August 9th and August 16th. The OA and EMS Swag Store is open. The shop is open until July 7th with pickup to be held in the OA Atrium, August 22nd through August 24th. Follow the link below to order. And if it's OA marching band gear you're looking for, use this link below. Same order deadline and pickup. Do you know an Eastern resident or organization that benefits the community? Do you or someone you know have a special talent or skill set that you would like to show off to the community? Well, ECAD has numerous shows and segments that may be a good fit for you. ECAD has always represented the talent and diversity of the people of Easton, and we want to highlight you. Email info at eastoncat.org to let us know what you want to see on our channels. We want to hear from you. The Frothingham Hall Book Club meets the second Thursday of the month at 2 p.m. But because of the summer, the next two months they will meet on the second Wednesday at the hall located at 15 Barrow Street. So on July, 20, on July 12th and August 9th, it's Bring Your Own Book. Join fellow readers to chat about your recent reads or an all-time favorite. They will get together to swap recommendations and share a few laughs. For more info and to find out the rest of the reading list, you can email programs at easton.ma.us. Easton Youth Flag Football. Registration has opened to sign up. Log in at eastonyouthflagsleague.com. Registrations are for grades 1 through grade 8. The, the fall season starts on September 10th and runs through November 19th. Registration ends on August 8th before a late fee and registration closes the 29th of August. The Friends of the Ames Free Library is a nonprofit organization integral to promoting supporting library activities and programs and purchase items not included in the library's budget. They have book sales several times a year and participate in other library related events. The Friends Book Sale Room at Creaset House gladly accepts donations of good quality books 
every Saturday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Due to lack of space limitations, they can only accept 25 books per donor. It's back. Free movie nights in the park starts for the summer every Friday night from now until the end of August at Frothingham Park at 8.30 p.m. Located at the basketball courts, bring your own chairs, bug spray, and snacks. No tickets are needed. The purpose of movie nights in the park is to offer a fun, safe summer activity for all ages. For more info and to see all the dates and movie titles, you can find it at eastonwingsofhope.org. Southeastern Regional High School is looking to fill five paraprofessional positions and is looking for candidates with experience in the following areas. Culinary Arts, HVAC, Plumbing, Advanced Manufacturer and Welding, Automotive. You can apply through School Spring, Southeastern Regional High School Registration for Fall 2023. Athletics is now up and running. Register at the link below. Come out and play one of the most fun and fastest growing sports in North America. Beginners and old huckers alike are invited to play Ultimate Frisbee in Easton this summer. Experienced players will teach the game to beginners and intermediate players. For more info and to register, check out Easton's Rec Desk website. The Ames Free Library is looking for volunteers. If you love the library and you have been looking to help out your community, here's your chance at the moment. They're specifically looking for anyone available in assisting on Tuesday mornings, Friday afternoons, or for someone who has a pretty open availability. If this sounds like you, please ask someone at the circulation desk for a volunteer application or email volunteer coordinator at the email below. Please note that preference will be given to those who can make a long-term commitment to volunteering at AFL, but please don't let that keep you from reaching out. Calling all bottle caps, the Disabled American Veterans Chapter 57 Club with the Legions of Easton is collecting clear white bottle caps. The collection of bottle caps will be recycled into prosthetics for fellow veterans. You can bring your bottle caps to the Bristol Trinity Episcopal Church at 143 Lincoln Street in North Easton. The container will be located near the main entrance. The collection will end on October 31st, 2023. The Easton Town Pool has memberships open for purchase. Individual membership is $65, for families it's $150, and for senior citizens it's $20. Daily entrance fees are $5 for individuals and $20 max for families. Late day entrance fee for after 3 p.m. is $3 per person. For more info, go to the link below. Each summer, Stronger Together team riders participate in a Ride to Crush Cancer, the post-ride gathering where riders are all welcomed back from their 50 miles and celebrated for their fundraising efforts has grown into a community-wide, family-friendly event. The 2023 Community Gathering and Food Truck Fest on July 30th at Stonehill College is open to the public and promises to be the best year yet. They will have food truck fare and ice creams, local beer and spirits, music, family games, and kids rides. Show your support on July 30th for these two local cancer-fighting charities. Attention Easton residents. Ultimate Pizza at 277 Turnpike Street in South Easton will be closed from July 1st to July 17th to celebrate their son's wedding in Greece. We hope they have a safe trip. After the break, be ready for the town's summer quarterly brochure. And more events happening at the Ames Free Library. This is Easton News. Hi, I'm Ron Van Dam. I've been in radio for three decades now and have been doing a daily podcast-style show for a few years. But once a week, I come to the ECAT studio where they give me wine and cheese, and I do a TV version of the podcast. I talk about what's going on in the world and in the area and give my opinions on things. And these adults are being slaughtered. Like every, every, you know, the oh, there's just oh, there's just heads rolling all over the place and blood and guts. I mean, if that happened in your neighborhood, it would not be considered entertainment for the family. Wednesday, we're doing arms. Thursday, we're doing ears. And Friday is my physical workout dental day where I work my teeth. I realize that I can never be the Pope like I wanted to be because apparently um, they don't interview for that. You just kind of become one. So tune in to see me move my mouth while I talk. Who knows? We might have something in common. Probably not, but you never know. I find that the uh, consumption of alcoholic beverages makes this show that much better. Catch my show here, The Ron Van Dam Show, right here on ECAT. Hold on tight. Things can get a bit weird if you like that sort of thing. Here we go. My name is Harrison Young, and after 13 years of talk show experience, I seek to bring you the best in interviews with some of the very best guests around. 
including, and there we are, experts. I've seen thousands of demons actually come out of the mirror one time. One time. Wow. Musical guest and artist. If I say how I feel, would you really listen? And interesting characters of all types. I threw that kid across the classroom. I would, I look. He didn't try that ever again. Wow. Join me at Topic Time on your Eastern cable station. Anytime they want to play it. And I, from what I understand, that's quite a few times a day. And I love it. The Easton Water Division has installed a self-service water filling station to provide water with levels of PFAS6 below 20 nanograms per liter to those in sensitive subgroups, that's pregnant or nursing women, infants, and people diagnosed by their health care provider to have a compromised immune system, as well as other concerned residents. The filtration station is located on the side of the Water Division building at 417 Bay Road. The station can fill water containers up to five gallons. The Are You OK Free telephone calling service provides peace of mind for both the individual and their family. The program provides reliable daily phone assurance and the security a person may need to maintain their independence. The program is designed for senior disabled persons and shut-ins living in Bristol County. The Bristol County Sheriff's Department will make a telephone call to an individual's home at approximately the same time each day. If no one answers, the Sheriff's Department will call back shortly. If no one answers the second time, the police department will be called immediately to check up on the individual status. Enroll at 508-994-8932 or toll free at 888-809-8932. The Town of Easton has their quarterly brochure out and it features all town-sponsored sports, mindfulness, learn-to and fitness programs as well as any special single-day events. The brochure will have the dates, prices, and a brief description of each program. To view the brochure, you can find it on the town website or on the Facebook page. Could you use some additional help this year paying for heating, fuel, transportation, or food costs? At the annual town meeting in 2020, residents voted to adopt a local option under MGL Chapter 60, Section 3F to establish a Veterans Assistance Fund. This fund, known as the SERVE Fund, can provide eligible veterans or surviving spouses up to $1,400 per year, depending on fund availability at the time of application. As part of the rollout of the SERVE Fund, the town is directing $100,000 of American Rescue Plan Act funding to immediately provide assistance to qualifying veterans and families. This support comes in addition to $150,000 of ARPA funds directed towards the Taxation Aid Committee Fund as part of the town's broader ongoing efforts to provide direct financial assistance to residents in need. Eligibility criteria is 80% of the area medium income guidelines. Eastern residency and proof of veteran status is required. For more information on this and many other ways the Eastern Department of Health and Community Services supports our community, please visit the Town of Eastern Health and Community Service webpage Applications are also available at Frothingham Hall, 15 Barrow Street. If you would like to donate to this fund, please make checks payable to the Town of Easton Sir Fund. Now it's time for the APCSM Pet of the Week. We have a pet that needs its forever home, and this week's pet is Tito. This big, handsome, three-year-old boy is Tito. He is super friendly and loves to get lots of attention. He is a very curious boy and loves to explore. Considering his large size, it is recommended for Tito to be kept in a large X-Pen and to get lots of free time to roam. Tito would prefer to be the only rabbit in his new home so he can be the center of attention. He is ready to hop into his new forever home. If you are interested in adopting Tito or any of our other small animals here at APCSM, please fill out a small animal application on our website, apcsm.org. Come and enjoy some of your favorite children's films in a brand new way. Sing, dance, growl, do the wave, eat cheese, destroy an entire city, and maybe the world. And just keep swimming as you watch Wait for Specific Movie Moments to be spurred into action. You may be asked to keep a balloon aloft or take a cover in a rainstorm. You may even get flushed down the toilet. You'll even have to register to find out. Each child will receive a kit full of movie magic to use during the screening. Our interactive movie nights are intended for children ages 3 and up. All movies shown will be feature full-length films, rated G or PG. Please note, if your child is not yet reading independently, you'll need to sit with them to help them read along, read with the script and play along. Space is limited and registration is required. To register, please visit the link below. 
Effective May 1st through November 1st, Phase 3 water restrictions will be in place. From 5 a.m. to 8 p.m., houses will be restricted on what days they can use water. These restrictions are needed to comply with the town's water withdrawal permit and to ensure an adequate supply during the construction of the PFAS and iron and manganese treatment facilities. Please visit the Eastern Water Division webpage for more information. ECAT will be bringing back their annual fast-paced film event. The film sprint where teams will have 48 hours to write, film, and edit their short film. The event will be held on Friday, July 14th, starting at 7 p.m., and will end with a screening on Sunday, July 16th at 7 p.m. No size on teams and use of ECAT equipment is allowed if equipment is available. To sign up or to ask questions, email info at eastincat.org. The Quisit House is bringing back the summer concert series. They will be holding the concert in the back gardens July 5th, 19th, and August 2nd and 16th are the other dates. All shows start at 6 p.m. For more info and the list of bands, go to the Ames Free Library website and search under events. Your seven-day forecast is still ahead. Sports are over, but something new is coming to the show. You're watching Easton News. There's a storm. Join me, Priscilla Amquistolson, to explore the town of Easton and its interesting, engaging, ordinary, and extraordinary people, and meet a smorgasbord of guests, including artists, authors, musicians, business owners, community organizations, clergy, local leaders, etc., etc., etc. Community Forum at 3 p.m. on Thursdays and 1.30 p.m. on Saturdays. See you then. Good evening and welcome to another edition of For the Love of Words. After a three-year hiatus, join me, John Holgerson and Priscilla Almquist Olson as we interview poets and musicians. Could you give the audience a, a little summary of your background as a child? When I turned seven or so, we were car bomb. That stuck out. And have them share their love of words. Sometimes I wonder, do you ever think of me? A thin broth of moonlight caught in the trees spreads across the garden brush so one side of every stick shimmers while the other sides melt into one another, a mass grave of cherry, pear, and pine. For the love of words, at 7 p.m. on Thursdays. Now we send it to Adam Ferrero for the upcoming seven-day weather forecast. This is your ECAT Weekly Weather Forecast. The humidity stays with us for the rest of the week. With Friday and Saturday nice sunny days, and on Sunday clouds come in and a chance of a few showers and maybe some thunderstorms. At the start of the week on Monday, the humidity picks up, and that leaves us with Monday and Tuesday having those spotty thunderstorms that we have to keep an eye out if we have outdoor plans. But the rest of the week with the humidity still up, but the clouds stay away and the sun is out. I'm Adam Carell, and this has been your ECAT Weekly Weather Forecast. Puppy invites you to join Newton and the gang for Puppet Storytime. Newton and his friends will take turns reading stories and singing songs to rapt audience. At the end of the show, kids are invited to say hi to Newton and give him an enthusiastic high five and participate in hands-on puppet-free play session. This event will be held on July 3rd from 6 to 7 p.m. at the Quisit Gardens. Frothingham Hall is hosting a community event, the Children's Races. Come join the community every Thursday from July 6th through August 10th at Frothingham Park at 6 p.m. Sign-ups are not required, but families are encouraged to register to receive um, email alerts. Races are done by age groups. Ages 12 through, 2 through 12 are invited with varying race distances. Every participant receives a finished ribbon and a freeze pop. To register, go to easton.ma.us and click on Community Programs under the Leisure and Attractions tab found on the top banner or you can click the Rec Desk button below. Easton Legacy Fund is pleased to announce that the recipient of the 2023 grant is Children Museums Easton. The grant will go towards replacing two exterior doors that are in poor shape. 
One serves the needs of those with limited ability and the other is in the emergency fire exit. CME Executive Director Christine Santoro plans to have the doors replaced this fall as part of the museum's annual spruce up. Look for updates on the progress in newsletters and on social media. This, non -for, this not for profit was established in 1991 by four mothers who undertook a grassroots effort to turn an unused fire station into a viable interactive learning place for children and families. Since opening its doors in 1994, the museum welcomes 55,000 visitors per year who establish three floors of interactive exhibits and an outdoor wild place that encourages learning through play. The Board of the Easton Legacy Fund wishes to thank all of the Easton not-for-profits for submitting applications for their capital projects. We realize that it was time and effort that was invested in the process and we want to thank each organization for participating. The decision is never an easy one to make. We recognize the vital role that plays in enhancing Easton's quality of life and we wish we could do more to help all of them. If you're interested in supporting our future efforts, we invite you to donate to our fund. Saturday, July 15th at the Knights of Columbus, they will be hosting the 11th annual Bears Poker Run. Registration is from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. The event will end at 5 p.m. There will be live music by Southbound, food, a 50-50 raffle, and a Chinese raffle. $25 donation for riders, passengers, and walk-ins. Under 12 are free. The Easton Knights of Columbus is located at 375 Foundry Street on Route 106 in Easton, Mass. All proceeds benefit Ride 22 to prevent veteran suicide, the American Legion Boy State, and the Easton Knights of Columbus Scholarship Fund. La Wadessa Middle Eastern Restaurant, located in West Bridgewater on the Easton Line, will be closed for their annual Family Vacation Week July 3rd through Monday, July 10th, and will reopen July 11th. Smith Farm at Borderland is pleased to continue their partnership with the local practitioners to utilize the outdoor space as a site for hosting a variety of community and wellness programs, including Tai Chi Yoga, community gardens, and more. Smith Farm is undertaking a fundraising campaign for their general operating expenses to support the programs during the summer of 2023. To support Smith Farms, you can either buy an online gift at smithfarmsheals.org or donate by check made to Smith Farm and mail to P.O. Box 581 Northeastern Mass 02356. Zachary's Breakfast Restaurant, located at 1778 Washington Street in Stoughton, has closed its doors after 22 years. The restaurant closed on June 24th and it was much regret from the owner. July 11th, Stoneforge Grill will have their rescheduled cornhole tournament. There will be beer samples and giveaways by beer sponsors and Stoneforge Brick Oven Pizza. $15 entry for teams and the game start at 6 p.m. Call to sign up before the game date with team names. First 16 teams to register for each tourney will play. You can call Stoneforge at 508-238-0550. Paint, Rust, and Pixie Dust will be closed Sunday, July 1st through Tuesday, July 11th for vacation. They will be reopening on July 12th. Thank you for watching. This has been Abby Kitchenham. And why was Cinderella so bad at soccer? And I'm Jack Ryan. She kept running away from the ball. This has been Easton News.